What's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Security Reach video. Now, in today's video, we have an exciting one. There's been a Reddit post that has found something pretty crazy in FNAF Security Reach. We're going to be going over in today's video, finding this new area, and, well, going from there. Trust me, this is going to be a fun video. But, of course, if you guys want a chance to win a copy of FNAF Security Reach, all you have to do to enter is simply leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below saying whatever you want, and hit that subscribe button. It really is that simple and that easy. As you guys know, you can enter on multiple videos, so be sure to do so. But, anyways, let's go ahead and press play and hop back into the game. All right, so what I want to do is I actually want to go back to my save. I got rid of my save where I was at the Afton boss fight, so I should be able to spawn. Oh my god, what is happening? Why is that so loud? I should be able to spawn right at the front entrance where... Gregory, yep, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna stay. Staying? Yep, we're staying. So, this Here, is pretty difficult to do. I think for this there video, I'm just gonna show you guys the secret. And then the I'm going to leave it to you guys to find everything here. But I found a few of them, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to link the Reddit page. What? Oh, to make. I just... You are staying? What? I just spoke to you. Okay. Uh, here, I found what did I do? <laughs> there are areas Thank you. You, you already gave me a party pass, bro. You don't need to so. give me another one. Okay. What is going on? Is he going to... Where is he taking me? Um, okay, we're back. All right, let's pretend that didn't just happen. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. Like I said, I'm going to link the Reddit user that found this. I think his name was Diamond Lad, um, so shout out to him, which uh, I was in this area, but I didn't have the right item to actually get to this door, so I didn't actually get in there. But, yeah, it's it's a uh, whenever you find this area, it's pretty obvious there's a secret there, but I'll show you guys what I mean. Um, so, first, we need to go back to the atrium or whatever it's called like the main area and uh, we need to grab the first cd which you guys don't know what i'm talking about whenever i got my ending for the game if you guys remember when i was exiting the building i found a cd on the ground and you can only see these cds with glamrock freddy's eyes and i knew it was going to play into the game somehow and I, I was on discord with Daco, and i was telling him like you know we gotta try this cd in different areas so we tried like above the atrium we tried you know where the dj is up there we tried a bunch of different areas but nothing worked well we now were we now were nowhere to put these CDs if I can speak properly. So it's pretty exciting. All right, let's go ahead and get out here. Okay, so we need Glamrock Freddy. Let's go ahead and call him in. Now, luckily, since I'm at end game, well, luckily and unluckily, we only have Roxanne Wolf here and she's blind, but she likes to sit right around the CD. So yeah, and uh, uh, if I die, as you guys know, I lose all my progress. So we're on hardcore mode. All right, so oh no, 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 no. I'm going back, dude. No, leave me. Where is? I've been calling Freddy. He won't show up. There you are. Dude, what's taking you so long? Oh, my God. Come on. Go, 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 go. Let me in. Let me in, dude. Let me in, please. Holy moly. Okay, we're good. By the way, um, I'm going to have this video scheduled to go up for sure as a fact because it's currently 4 a.m. for me, and I still am running on three hours of sleep. So I've, I've literally slept three hours in the past 48 hours. So, yeah, I really need some sleep. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this, though. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Okay, retro CD. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. That's what we needed. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh, crap, no. Let me show you guys. If we go into the inventory, there's a new section now, Retro CD. And like I said, I've been trying to figure out what to do with these for quite a while, basically half the day here. But it doesn't say anything about it. Now, it has its own section, so we know it's important. It's under miscellaneous and uh, nothing else, so which is very interesting. Now, there's this CD, which is nothing, but yeah, th th this thing's definitely important. So we're going to go ahead and take it over here. And uh, I got to go. We got to go all the way. I think it's the door over here, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's this door right here. Yeah, we got to go back. If you guys remember the museum, when we first started the game, right in front of the museum, when uh, Glamrock Freddy saved us and we go into those underground tunnels, well, there's quite a few secrets down there. I'm going to show you guys all of them in today's video. And the thing is, I went down here by myself when I was just looking for secrets alone, and I found like a bunch of crazy things, but I was like, okay, there's nothing too special. But there was one door that I couldn't get through. And, well, that just so happened to be the door that has, like, the big secret in it. So, <laughs> of course, the one door I couldn't get inside of. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I, no, we're gonna, I think we have enough battery in Freddy for now. We only need him for, like, one part anyways. Which, luckily, you do need... You need Montgomery's claws, and you need Chica's box. But the thing is, you don't really need Chica's uh, voice box. You, there's a way of getting around it. And I, I taught Daco this. I was like, wait. He was like, how am I possibly going to do this? Like, we have to... You know, we have to get all the parts, then we have to, like, you know, do all this and that. And I'm like, no, look, I, I'll show you guys. You can literally just, <laughs> you can just jump around the gate, which I don't know if that's on purpose by the developers, but uh, that's how I'm doing it, bro. I mean, hey, it's not like I'm glitching or anything. It's literally, watch, you'll see, I just jump around it. All right, so what you got to do is you got to go right over here. There's this door right here. Now, this door requires Glamrock Freddy, which that's why when I was exploring alone and I saw this, I was like, okay, there's there's some kind of secret in here, which is why I kept looking, but I couldn't find anything. All right, come on. Where's he at? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. He spawns. Yeah, I forgot. He spawns in there. I don't know. 
Steel Wolf, you're watching this. Why does he spawn in there? Because <laughs> then you can't... The only way to get him out is you have to do this. Because I've been down here so many times, I know how to get him out. Okay, you got to do this. You got to press Q. And he's behind me now. Okay, perfect. Come on down. Come on. No, don't. Okay, yep. No, come on in. All right, there we go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've done this so many times, I literally know how to get him out of there. All right, come on this way, buddy. Here he comes. I love how, like, fast he runs. Okay, now you have to get inside of him to actually enter this area. Even though he opens the door, you can't actually walk in without him. So keep that in mind. All right, so now we're going to get out of his suit because we don't want to waste his battery. We need all of it. And we're going to run down this way. Now, I'm going to show you guys all the secrets I can down here. Um, at least the ones that I, you know, that are possible. I need to, I need to recharge my battery, but all right, whatever. We have enough. All right, so what we can do here is bring Glamrock Freddy here. He'll bust open the gate. And we have this section back here. Now, there is a gift box back here. I think I showed this on a video, but I honestly don't remember. It's all a blur, dude. I've been playing this game for like 48 hours straight. So, <laughs> okay, there we go. Or close to 48 hours. So, there we go. We got that. Um, so, I need to go back this way. Yeah, move out of the way, bro. Who are you going to call, huh? There's no one here. I literally killed all the animatronics besides like a few. And they're not down here to help. All right, this way we go. So, we just got like a little toy down there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, that's basically what's in all these rooms, but some of them do have some pretty cool stuff in them, which I'll show you guys uh, whenever we get there. They have some Curse of Dreadbear secrets. Okay, so this gate right here leads to nothing too crazy. Um, it's just like, you know, a room with, uh, I think it has like the little baby plushies in it. It's nothing crazy. But this room over here, we go ahead and open this up. Let me show you guys. Which, if you guys remember, this is where we first saw Vanessa when we're like hiding in the, the first aid station. Now, if we go up here, I don't think there's anything too crazy. Yeah, there's just this little section, which has a note in it. So, what I want to read this, let me make sure. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all my new notes because every time I restart my save, I, you know, they're all new again anyway. So, I want to be able to read whatever this note is that's hidden back here, though, because I feel like it's got to be important if it's like all the way back here. Okay, got rid of all the new notes. Let's go ahead and collect this one. Let's have a look and see what it says. Okay, so, missing. Security report, 12 24 a.m. Bonnie is seen leaving his green room in Rockstar Row, heading east towards the atrium. 2.40 a.m. Bonnie enters the East Arcade. 4.12 a.m. Bonnie enters Monty Golf. Wait, so where's Bonnie at? Because he was here at some point. So where's he at? Because we have Freddy. Yeah, we have Freddy, Chica. There's no Foxy and there's no Bonnie. But at some point, there was. Huh. That's weird. All right, I, like, we have Bonnie bowling, so obviously, like, he's around here somewhere, but kind of weird how we haven't found him. they will probably add him in as, like, DLC or something, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and go this way. And, uh, okay, so now we got to go this direction. I need a refill on my flashlight so bad. I think there... I hope there wasn't one in that room. I think there's one up ahead, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to try to save it. I'll use this for now. All right, so there's this room right here. If we go ahead and get Glamrock Freddy to break it down. Yep, come on. There we go. Oh, no, I'm stuck on him. Yeah, he does that sometimes. He gets, like, stuck on the gate. All right, here we go. So, this is a cool room. This is... And I assume this has to be, like, from Curse of Dreadbear, right? I mean, you would assume so. The trees, the monitor, or the projector. I only think so because of the trees and the projector. That's about it. If you guys remember the intro to Curse of Dreadbear, like, that says, you know, Curse of Dreadbear across the thing, that's what it look. That's what this reminds me of. Let's go ahead and grab this present, though. And uh, we got a sun figure. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back out, and we got to go to the next section here. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff down here, and there's a lot of references to, like, other games down here. Like, if we can get into those other areas, I could show you guys, but it's just a lot of, like, Easter eggs. I don't know if it's, like, hinting at something or if it's just, you know, an Easter egg, but, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. All right, so we got to go this way now, and we got to head up to the area where we first spot Chica. If you guys remember when, uh, you know, the game first started, where Chica's in the bathroom, like, eating garbage or food, whatever that is, we got to go to that area. Oh, yeah, there's this area, too. This is cool. I think this is supposed to be... Okay, he came from inside the area. I think this is supposed to be the conveyor belt from Curse of Dreadbear, but I could be completely wrong about that. It's, that's just a complete guess. I'll show you guys right here what I'm talking about. This conveyor belt right here. So, yeah, this reminds me of Curse of Dreadbear. Remember when we had to, like, build them and stuff like that? And you got, like, the little basket right here. I think that's what this is from. Let's go ahead and open up this gift, though, and see what we get. A moon figure! Cool. And yeah, there's really nothing else back here. That's about it. All right, let's go ahead and crawl under this. Let's get to the next section because the next one I think is where things get exciting. Oh no, Freddy, move out of the way, bro. All right, is there anything? Oh, there's just a wall here. Okay, so we got to go this way now. Of course, I can't save because I'm on hardcore mode. It's basically what it, I, I don't think that's like the official name for it, but you might as well call it that. All right, so this way, and then we got to go into this room right here and then through it. Oh yeah, by the way, Oh, I forgot to grab the CD, so I guess this one will work. 
Um, let's go ahead and hop in Glamrock Freddy real quick. And there's a CD right to my right. I've been kind of looking around for them, but um, obviously, like, see, look, it only spawns in whenever you're in Glamrock Freddy. So let's go ahead and grab this one so we can at least play one of them. All right, there we go. Retro CD. Now, I don't know what's on these CDs. I just know that there's a room that we that we can play them in, and that's where we're going. All right, so through here. Got to go over here. I'm, I'm just going to stay inside Glamrock Freddy because we're really close. And then this should connect. Yeah, right here. Okay, so this is where we need to be. We need to go this way and then turn left. And as you guys can see, okay, you need Montgomery Gator Claws. We're good. Now, for this part right here, let me go ahead and hop out of them. There's a room over here with a security bot upside down, like chained up. Very weird. Now, this is the room that you want to get to. So, you guys can see, you need Glamrock Chica's voice box, which we don't have. But it doesn't matter because, as I showed Daco, you just do this. Um, let me see. I hope they don't fix this. Still, well, please, if you're watching this, don't fix this. Um, and there we go. It's that easy. Now, this is where things get exciting. So, have a listen. You guys hear that? That very low TV through the wall, right? Let's go ahead and collect this note. And uh, let's read what it says here. Okay, so press tab. Torn paper. It says... Why did it put me all the way down here? Okay, torn paper. It is there, but you can't see. Alone in the dark, I found the key. So, it's there, but you can't see it. Alone in the dark... And uh, let's go ahead and pull out our camera here. And there we go. We have now found a secret room in the pizza plex. So let's go ahead and head inside. Once again, shout out to the Reddit user who found this. I'll have them linked in the description down below. But uh, there's this room, which if you guys don't recognize this, it's the sister location room. And it's got the exotic butters. It's got the cartoon, which if you guys remember from the interview, uh, Steel Wool said that the cartoon was like, I don't know, they said something very important about the cartoon, like it plays into the game, or you've already seen a part of the game by watching the cartoon. So, yeah, I don't know how this relates to anything, but very interesting. And of course, you've got all of this on the wall, which I don't know what that says. And you have this right here. And uh, as you guys can tell, it says push a button. So if I didn't have a CD right now, it wouldn't say this. It would say like, missing required item. So I haven't heard what's going to be on the CD. But I'm very, very excited. I mean, obviously, there's multiple CDs around the place. I don't know how many, but I've found two so far. But let's see what it says. Oh, my gosh. This is exciting. Hello, Vanessa. Oh. How are you feeling today? Vanessa. You look a little tired. What? Hmm. Well, it's been a while since we last spoke. How's your anxiety been? What? You did so well with your calming protocols when we first worked together. Are you still using those? Yes? Okay, good. Well, now I understand there's a new issue. It came on just recently, rather suddenly. Can you tell me about it? What issue? I've been doing my job. Uh. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. Yes, yes, of course you do. Your performance reviews are good. But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. Oh. We have transcripts, and I've read them. But it's not clear what you're talking about in these conversations. I can't make sense of it. You must be getting something from these that I'm not getting, right? Who are you talking to in these? No one! Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's oh, in the marketing. Oh, Lewis! He's nice, I guess. Yes, I see Lewis here. But there's someone else. Oh, crap, dude. So, that's... That sounded like... Is that like her boss at Fazbear Entertainment? Because she's like talking about work and she's talking about this and that and the other. That's either her boss or like a therapist or something. Oh, I have another CD. Okay, maybe... I, I guess I did... Oh, yeah, I did grab that first CD. I forgot. Isn't it a pretty day? No. What's the matter? Oh, right. Too bright. I'll pull the shades. Better. When the shades pulled, it feels like we're in a cubby hole or a cave. Yeah? Hmm. So you're not talking to me again today. This isn't all that productive, you know. Don't you think the sessions are more successful when you talk to me? You know, everyone associated with this company gets performance reviews, right? When my sessions don't get results, my reviews aren't very good. If you don't want to talk for your own sake, 
How about for mine? You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I could be put in the corner for a time oh. out. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? Wait, so this is like a, a Fazbear Entertainment, like therapist or like some kind of... She works for Fazbear Entertainment, I think? Because she said if she doesn't talk, like if she doesn't get what she needs, then they can like put her in the corner, which I don't know if she's like saying like, you know, that she'll get punished basically if she doesn't figure out what's going on with Vanessa. But that is very interesting. That's... Hmm. That's got a lot of lore in it. All right, so... Yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. That's crazy, though. So, what we have to do now is... We have to go around the entire Pizzaplex, find all the other CDs, and find out I, the rest of the storyline. Because I don't know how many CDs are left. I'm assuming quite a bit, because I think they're probably going to be hidden in, like, every area that we go to. But, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I wish there was... I, I The one thing I... I, I the only thing about this door that I'm like, oh man, it kind of makes me sad is that you knew it was here because of the TV playing like the noise. I, I would be more excited if like, oh crap, what is going on? Okay, yeah, thanks for telling me at the end of the game that to charge my flashlight. But I wish I could like, I kind of want to go around like this camera and just see if I can find any other areas like that and potentially find more doors. Like I'm just going to start taking pictures of random stuff. But then again, that had a TV behind it. So like you knew it was there. It had a note that let you know. But I mean, who's to say this is the only secret room, you know? There could be more. I don't know. This is very interesting. But guys, I'm going to end this video here, okay? In the next video, we're going to find all the tapes in that video. I don't know how many there's going to be, or CDs, I should say. And uh, we're going to go from there and see what happens. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know. Leave a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.